Hello everyone and welcome to the Tuesday video and welcome to everybody's favorite kind of video on the channel and that is a family bins bash. So what that means is today my mother Debbie who is a part-time reseller, her full-time job is an accountant but on the side she resells and my brother who is also a part-time reseller he sells mainly on Mercari and he sells collectibles and more kind of like hard good type stuff not as much clothes. The three of us are going to the bins and we're going to do some shopping. We're going to do some shenanigans. We're going to do all kinds of fun bins bash type stuff. Their names as a refresher are Debbie and Evan, my mother Debbie and my brother Evan. So if you hear me throughout the video saying those names, that's who I'm talking about. And we are going to be going to the bins here pretty soon. I actually have a dentist appointment this morning at 8.50 a.m. that I'm going to be taking off for in about like five or ten minutes. And they, I don't think I have anything going on this morning. They're just going to like meet me there. I guarantee that I'm still gonna get there first because that's just always how it works out. So I think I'm gonna go straight from my dentist to the bins. My dentist is actually super close to my house. Not really any closer to the bins than I am being at home. I would assume it'll be around like 9.30, 9.45 by the time that I'll be leaving the dentist. As you guys know, if you watched last week's videos, I've been doing all kinds of bins shopping this week. I went on Monday, I went on Wednesday, and now it's Thursday. So I do have quite a stockpile of stuff and luckily I didn't go like crazy crazy either day. Both days were really good, but neither were like fill a cart with stuff for me to list days. So it's not like I have like an insane amount, but I have quite a bit. So I'm hoping to not get like tons and tons and tons. But of course, if there's good stuff, like I'm not gonna skip it. I would love to get some stuff to consign. I'd mainly for myself love to get some spring summer stuff, the stuff that fits into storage bags and just fits into my storage bins. Not really looking for too many sweaters, not looking for too many jackets. Again, I will get them if I find one that cannot be skipped or that's worth a lot of money, but that's definitely not like what I'm looking for in particular. We are just about to be heading into some nice weather once again, finally here in Minnesota. It's been snowy for an entire week, but we're just about to go back into the 60s and stuff. So I know that I'm gonna be right back into that spring mode. So I might be, I might be taking my little Edward scissor hand and cutting up some jeans into shorts at the bins too so that I can sell some shorts on marketplace as you guys know I've been doing. So yeah, all kinds of spring mode is what we're in. But of course we're gonna look at the things, we're gonna look at the stuff. I always look at the books. I always look at like literally everything. I look at everything at the bins. That's why I end up going home with like expensive pillowcases and expensive like straw hats because I literally just look at everything. So that's what we're doing. I'm really hoping that Debbie or Evan can find something really, really good. Last Time. Evan actually found some Ferragamo heeled loafers that he has listed quite high. And I've also listed them on mine just in case like I have more Poshmark traffic than him. But I'm hoping that they both can find something like really good. That'd be awesome. Of course, I want to also, but since they don't get to go very often, that'd be great. I've showed you guys every single time they've went. We've never went off camera, so they don't go super often. I really want to try having the Debbie cam this time. I don't know if that's going to work or how it's going to work, but I want to give her my phone and just like have her film maybe like a minute or two of her like digging around with the outward facing camera or something. We'll see. I'm. It's an idea. We'll see if it works. I don't know if she'll get anything <laughs> on footage. That's the plan. So I'm gonna head to the dentist now. I'll probably check in with you guys really quick between the dentist and the bins and maybe give you like a time update if I hear from Debbie and Evan. But otherwise, I guess then after that, I'll see you guys at the bins. Again, I'll probably be there first. So we'll just do some of our own shopping first and I'll grab some stuff for them if I see it, and then we'll wait for them to arrive. Mike was right at my feet the whole time, being a supportive little baby. Right, Mike? Oh, so sweet. Today I am in blue for some reason. Ignore the real, real bags. It's a blue day. We got the blue Godzilla t-shirt on, the vintage Godzilla t-shirt. We got a blue giant flannel and big old blue jeans too. Don't know why. All right, everybody. <laughs> perfect checkup, perfect checkup. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold the applause, hold the applause. Oh my gosh, calm down, everyone. Okay, okay, anyways. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going to the bins now. 
done with the dentist. That was great. That was so much fun. I had such a blast. Um, Debbie texted me and she said that she's just going to keep me updated with whatever time they're coming. So I have no ETA for them yet. It is 9.35 right now. As I said, I'm just as close to the bins as I am when I'm at home. So this is still going to take me a good 35, 40 minutes to get out there. So I'll be getting there a little after 10, which is honestly pretty close to the normal time that I get there. And then, I don't know, Debbie and Evan usually show up around like 11, 11.30. So I'd say probably like an hour after. They are slow to start. So, <laughs> so we'll head out to the bins and we'll start our shopping. Me and you will check in with them when they get there. They always have music blasting. That's why we have to do voiceover because there's always music blasting at the bins. So I'm gonna head out there. I'm gonna quit blabbering and yeah. into the bins with us and I brought a bunch of bags in case Evan and Debbie forgot to bring some. Right when I entered there was a rotation happening so let's hope this is a good one. This is actually a couple rotations later and it's so bad that there is fake BB that I am finding. What in the world? Well, I sorted through that stuff, and here's a couple pieces that I wanted to keep. So I found this 11-stitch design piece. This is a Ligon Look brand, and I recently, I think last month, sold a piece from this brand for maybe $40 on eBay, so that's a keeper. I did find some stuff to consign that's pretty cute, so that's good too. I also found this Banana Republic Sherpa vest. I wanted to get this, but later I looked a little closer and there was quite a bit of peeling and also the year on this was maybe 2017 or 16, so it's a little too old for me. Okay, so I found a couple things. Let's bring them back to the cart and I'll show you what I found. These are things I will be getting. So I found this free people sweater. This is actually really cute. This kind of has turned my attitude around a little bit. I do really like this piece. I found this Patagonia shirt. This is a men's piece. I do like the Hawaiian print to this. The collar is a little dirty, so I'm gonna see if I can clean it, and if I can, I'll be pretty excited about this one. Next up, I found this Garnet Hill wool sort of asymmetrical coat. This is not the kind of item that I'm looking for right now, but with how bad the bins have been so far, I'm willing to get this. Also, it has good comp, so I'll get it. I found this Duluth Trading Co. bra that I'm gonna get for Debbie or give her when she gets here. She loves to sell Duluth and has really good luck with it. And then I found this Loudmouth Golf Skort. I knew right when I saw it that this was going to be Loudmouth. It just looks exactly like the stuff they make. Fun fact, it's called the happy hour print too, which I love. I had also found this leather jacket. It ended up not being in good enough shape for me to get. It was close, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. And I found this Orvis jacket. I thought this was kind of cool with the color block patterns to it, but this had a lot more wear when I looked at it closer, so I threw this one back too. I found this flannel. This is by Prana. I considered it, but there were actually a couple holes in this, so this I skipped as well. And last, I found this Grayers. I am gonna give this to Debbie. Grayers is a pretty expensive men's brand. I'll see if she wants it. I found a couple swim pieces, which as you guys know, is not my favorite category, but these are some expensive brands, so I'm gonna be getting them. That is Lenny Niemeyer. That looks quite good when I looked up the comps, and I found both pieces, so that's definitely a good sign. This is actually a mini Bowden dress. This is so cute, super spring, really love this. I'm excited about that one. Next up, we have another swim. This is Sea Folly, which is a pretty expensive brand as well, but I only found one piece to this one, so we'll see. This is a piece to consign. I believe it's a Nuitag's Altered State. 
I found this Becca swim cover. It's completely velour. I think Ryan or Debbie would have good luck with this, so I might hand it to Debbie when she gets here. This is a good find. This has turned this trip around. This is a really, really good find. So this is a pajama set and it's silk. It's pink, super adorable. And this is by Fleur du Mal, which is so freaking expensive. This set itself is probably like $450 retail. Fleur du Mal is amazing. I'm so excited to find this. I've only had the brand once and it did so good. I'm getting nervous. There is only one cart, and Debbie and Evan are not here yet. They're coming soon, but they're not here yet. Another rotation underway. Let's see what we can find. This is a hard goods rotation, so if there's anything that Evan could have some luck with, I will grab it for him since they're still not here. I found a few things maybe worth a Google, like this Santa Claus blow mold. It's from 1995, and it's made by Empire, who makes a lot of the expensive blow molds, so I don't really know what it is. I found this poor folk art style Halloween cat. He's so cute, but his face is broken. I am still gonna pick him up, and I will find a way to heal him or make him look complete. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but he's still coming home with me. I found this cute mid-century modern kind of candle stand. It had some kind of label in it, but it must have fallen out when I was carrying it. In some clothing, I found this Athleta top. I'm gonna offer this to Debbie to keep for herself personally because we go to the same gym together and it is her size and it's a cute color. I also did find this J. Crew cardigan. I actually have this in gray in my closet right now, and I have it priced pretty high because it's a really nice piece. It uses lamb's wool, and it is really nice and structured and a really cute style. So I'm actually excited to find this. The last time I found it, I paid up for it, so I'll take it. All right, look who finally showed up. Poor guy, there's no cards. I know, you have to like wait for one or... Luckily, Debbie and Evan got a cart pretty quickly. They only got one, so they're gonna have to share today, but that's okay, at least they have one. And they already have some stuff in it that isn't surprising, like a purple Viking sweatshirt and some pug socks. Evan, of course, went to the hard goods and collectibles and stuff bins, or junk bins, as a lot of us at the bins call them. I found this in the junk bin. Just how many do you have to kiss with these cute little frogs on it? If I was in elementary school, I would love that. I loved frogs. Also, I found this really cool natural flower wreath that I think I'll get for somewhere in our house. This I would totally get for Ryan if it was in better shape. He would love it. It's the four stages of tequila on a tank top. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. And this little bird has totally lost his marbles. I found this Peyton Jensen jumpsuit and just out of curiosity, because it's an Ever Eve brand, I was like, let's see if this one was sold there. Sure enough, it was. And it's actually really cute and really soft. We got a couple things to hand to Debbie and Evan. Let's hand them the stuff we've saved for them. Looks like they're already filling their cart, even though they've been here for less time than I have. A shoe rotation is about to happen, and Debbie and Evan are still in the stuff. In the shoe rotation, I found a Longchamp backpack. That is actually so exciting, and this is in such good shape. This is almost like new condition, and I did all of the authenticity checks, and they checked out. There is the little plastic tab on the back of the snap, and the plastic tag on the inside, which are the two main signs of an authentic Longchamp. So this is real, and I'm pumped. Let me just get that spider web off. <laughs> Evan and I both found a hat in the last rotation that fit our personalities. I found a Goosebumps bucket hat, and Evan found a Las Vegas Knights NHL hat. 
It looks like Debbie finally moved on to looking at some of the clothing, and I see a lot of hats in her cart. I guess she's Joanne by Lady Gaga suddenly with this pink cowboy hat. She also found some Athleta and some Lulu in these bins that everybody had went through. So Debbie, listening to my tips of always go all the way through the bins that everyone has moved away from. It's actually a really nice Lulu too. It's this kind of shacket jacket type situation. Good for her. Evan had been looking through the shoes a bit and Debbie was just enjoying her funky hats. This is literally from like the shaky days or no, or is that people who sing and like Yeah, that? like a quartet. Or yeah. <laughs> Family waiting for a new junk rotation. I found some more pieces to consign in the clothing, and then I found a few more pieces of clothing to sell myself. So this is a Parks Project t-shirt. This was sold at Urban Outfitters. Most of their t-shirts have been sold there, so you can list them under Urban. I also found some Ferragamo heels, which is great. They're kind of cute. They're almost like a ballet heel. And then I also found, drum roll please, this pair of vintage Gucci heels. These are definitely not the best style, obviously, but I'll probably send them into the real real because I think that's where they'll do best. I got to clean them up quite a bit, but that's a good find. I found a free people movement bra. I think I might give this to Debbie. I just don't really sell them myself too often. Just kidding. There's a mark, so let's probably just get rid of that. But I also found this flannel by Woolrich. I wanted to pick it up, but I don't really know what to do with it. It's kind of heavy, so I don't want to get it to sell myself. And then I found this Free People, really cute, micro floral, very good spring top. It's kind of a wrap style, so it's pretty hard to show here, but it's got puff sleeves, and I really like the style of it. Here's the Debbie cam. I tried to get her to carry it, but she couldn't really handle holding the camera and looking through at the same time, so I was trying to film over her shoulder and see what she was picking up. Looks like she's got herself a Columbia puffer coat on her hands. Um, questionable choice there, Debbie. Let's see, now she's looking through some jeans. Those are a pass. Apparently she's got this interesting rug, coat, fur trim, cheapy looking situation that she spent quite a bit of time looking at. Not really sure what's going on here, Debbie. Maybe let's just move on and go to the next thing. Okay, looks like she's got some tie-dye. That's a pass. She's got a Lakers baby onesie. She spends a lot of time on each thing. And each thing she's like, oh, well, this is interesting. Oh, well, look at how cute that part about this is. Let's see if she does it again. Interesting, not that cute pants. Apparently worth another glance. And another, and an up down. And a tag check. And finally. Okay, I found this really cute Zara top. I usually am giving Debbie my Zara, but this one I really like the extremely puffed sleeves too, and I love that blue color, so I'm gonna give this one a shot. Let's take a peek see what is coming out next. It looks like we got another junk rotation happening. So let's probably do one more junk rotation and then we might be done for the day. I found a Lagerburger basket that I gave to Debbie because I didn't feel like listing it. It's from 2004, so hopefully she has some luck with that. Evan also had a really good find that I'm seen here hunting for because I don't really get Debbie's organization to this thing, but he has a pair of shoes that I really wanted him to show you guys. Evan actually found himself to sell a pair of much cuter than mine vintage Gucci shoes. I love that chain detail across the front and there's a chain like detail on the heel. Super cute. I'm jealous, but I'm really happy for him. Hello everyone. 
Another day, another bins trip, and another surge of allergies. <laughs> How is everybody? Today is a new day. I know that we are not starting a new video, but it is a new day. We are going to the bins again. Hope you guys enjoyed the family bins bash. As you guys kind of know, bins trips are hard to get full videos worth of footage out of, no matter who I'm going with, whether it be me alone, Ryan doing it with me, or Debbie and Evan going. I don't really have enough footage, especially because the bins weren't honestly like that great. I know that Evan luckily had such an amazing find right at the end there. And it's hard to complain about a bins trip where somebody walks out with Gucci. Two people walk out with Gucci. That's, that sounds pretty like, <laughs> that sounds bad to complain about that. But besides those like couple vintage pairs of shoes, the bins were like pretty lackluster on the Family Bins Bash. I am headed back now to grab you guys some more footage and to do some more bins shopping. It's now Monday. We went on Thursday, so it's a couple days later. I hope everybody had a good weekend and had a good Easter weekend. I've actually been putting in a backsplash in our kitchen. We're kind of doing like a mini kitchen revamp that I'm really excited about. I almost like considered making a second channel video about it. We'll see, I might like a revamped kitchen tour or something, I don't know. Unfortunately, Debbie and Evan won't be with us today. I mean, Debbie's here in spirit because I'm actually first headed to drop off a couple packages and I have one of hers. So she's she's there in the back seat <laughs> in spirit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the family bins bash. I had a blast as per usual. I really wanted Debbie to do the Debbie cam where she was holding the camera, but I kind of did a Debbie cam where I was holding it and just like following her around. So we will have to do that next time. So I'm gonna go drop off these packages and we're gonna head to the bins and we're gonna keep bin shopping for the day i'm gonna see how long i can make it with these allergies they are kicking my butt i can at least handle a couple hours so we will go shopping okay just gotta quick tell you guys something funny that just happened so i just stopped to drop the mail off and then i got back in the car to obviously head to the bins my car hooks up through like Apple CarPlay to my phone. They're like in sync with maps and Google Maps and all that stuff. So Google Maps was like, it is only 28 minutes to your work and it's talking about the bins. So Google has figured out how often I go to the bins and now thinks that that's where I work. I've never put in on any settings or any routes or anything that the bins are like my place of work, but I just think that's really funny that over time she's just been like, hmm, you must work here. I mean, basically, might as well. Yeah, off to work with me. See ya. It is super packed once again. Oh my gosh, I feel like every time I've come here in the past two months, like there are no parking spots. I don't know if everyone just suddenly loves this location or what the dealio is, but I have walked my seven miles to Goodwill. <laughs> Debbie really is here in spirit. I found this Prince People Magazine edition and she will love this, so I'm gonna get this for her. She continues to haunt me as I found this Baby Bowden onesie with penguins all over it. This is actually so cute and I'm really excited to find it. This is a really cute Victoria's Secret vintage piece. It's very Y2K. It's Victoria's Secret collection, which I don't really know what that means, but I love the cherry blossoms all throughout. It's kind of a crop top thing. I also found this Anthropology Sleeping on Snow turtleneck sweater. It is so soft. It's like that eyelash material, and it's really cute too. So again, not something I want seasonally, but something I'm still worth picking up even out of season. I thought this maybe had some nice material in it because of how soft it was, and sure enough, there is alpaca, which is not surprising. It's so soft. This hat possibly seemed like something, and I usually Google stuff that say made in Italy. The comps on this aren't that good, though the retail is high, so I might save this to consign later on. Okay, another rotation underway. Wish me luck. Yikes, now that is a pretty rough fake coat. You can just tell by looking at it that it's faux leather. There's all this peeling on the edges. I hate these handles. They are so flimsy and gross. Coach never has CCs on the outside and the inside, but I'm surprised that they put the effort into making this clasp. That looks really real, and it seems like a lot of work for a fake to go through. 
I found this sweater that's gonna need some work, but it's a brand that's worth the work. And it is a smart wool turtleneck. It's a full zip, it's really nice, and there's no holes, so I'll definitely get it. Smart wool, even with some flaws, always does well. Also found this Nike velour jacket. I thought I should look it up just because velour kind of had a moment last year or the year before. It's from 2018, so I'm gonna pass on it. Did these things freak anyone else out ever? Because I always thought these were creepy. They put these like realistic looking dogs and cats in little beds and they were so creepy. I also found this Rainforest Cafe frog water bottle. I think it's so cute, but it does not have any value. I found a Iron Man Build-A-Bear, and Build-A-Bears can be worth money sometimes, but this one is not. I found this Koopa Nintendo plushie. And then I also found this San Rio Build-A-Bear. This one looks like it could have some good value, so I'm really excited about that. This would have been such a good textbook for me to have in college. I wish there was a class on this. I would have totally taken it. Starting a business in Minnesota fits me so perfectly. I also found this really cool little journal of someone's and clearly they were a fashion student because they have amazing drawings of Missoni pieces, sweaters, dresses, they have some Chanel pages. These are so cool and it's so sad to just see it go to waste now. This is a Target knockoff of a Free People shacket that Ryan and I both have, so I think I'm actually gonna get this for Debbie and we can be triplets. <laughs> I found these Everlane khaki colored crop leg pants. It's funny because these are actually crop, but they're tall. So I guess they're just regular pants, but they're really cute. They're almost like a barrel pant, but I think they're just considered straight. I also found this pair of Everlane jeans. These are actually men's, which eh, is not the best because I haven't had that much luck with men's Everlane. I wish I did, but they're just some slim, long black jeans. They're a 34 inseam, which is great right up my alley. I found this jacket that is J.Crew 365. If you did not know, somebody in the comments once taught me that 365 is actually their highest end brand currently. It's more their like higher end kind of work pieces, I guess. Now this is a shame. This is a faux leather Harley Davidson graphic jacket. This would be such a valuable good style. It says Harley on the front. It has Harley logo on the back. It is so nice, but super peely. That is too bad. I found this Lululemon long sleeve. I could tell right away without even seeing the logo that this was Lulu. It was just that Lululemon sense that all of us resellers have. And sure enough, it was actually inside out, but I found the logo. I think I'll consign this piece though. It's a little non-substantial, so it's gonna go in my consignment pile. I found this Harry Potter Pottery Barn pair of pajama pants. They're a size large. I think they're a women's. They're from Pottery Barn Teen, actually, but even when comps don't look that great on Pottery Barn or William Sonoma pieces like this, I still usually have luck with them and can sell them for higher than the comp, so I'm gonna be grabbing this. This is a really cool Minnesota Lottery vintage sweatshirt. I'm surprised one of the vintage people didn't pick it up. I think it's really cool. I love the logo on it. So let's do some digging. This is like the Jack Cam. I'm sure there's not gonna be really anything in this bin, but let's take a peek at what we can find together.
I don't even understand how this happens to a pair of shorts, but I guess when you're Zara and you make stuff out of the cheapest material possible as fast as possible, it's possible. Someone had thrown back these completely tattered and destroyed Doc Martens and I was actually gonna get these and kind of make a project out of them for a video and then when I was filming this I realized the hole in the back and unfortunately I won't be able to fix that so I'll have to skip them. This is a really cute We The Free Thermal, but unfortunately she has stains and spots all throughout the sleeves and the body. So free people, you can finally be free forever. All right, we got a double rotation happening. They're taking away two rows of clothing and bringing out two full new rows. I'm pretty excited about this. Well, I did find a couple things and let's go through them. This was a pretty good rotation. I found this brand called Criquet or Cricket. Not really sure how it's pronounced, but they make men's pieces that are about 100 to 125 each. This is a like velour kind of terry cloth shirt. I think this will do well. I'm gonna grab this. Then I found this Girlfriend Collective bra. I love this brand, one of the only good athletic brands nowadays. There's Vori, Girlfriend Collective, and a few more, but I do still like Girlfriend Collective. I found some Spanx faux leather leggings. They're medium. I will still always get Spanx in the bins. The size determines if I sell it myself or consign it, so I'm gonna be grabbing these and selling them myself. I found this free people dress. It's one of those trapeze style dresses. I don't really like to do these because they don't have that much luck for me. So I'm gonna put this in my consignment pile. Next up we have an Eloquy piece. This is a really cute ribbed maxi dress with the fun window at the front there. It's also new with tags, so I'll definitely be picking this up. I found quite a few really good plus size pieces, which I'm really excited about. Next up is a Beach Riot piece. So this is an expensive kind of swimwear and swim cover brand that can sometimes be sold at Anthro. This is a maxi dress swim cover and this is an Anthro piece. I'm really excited about that. Then we have an Everlane shirt. This is a men's and I was gonna prove to you that it's not missing any buttons and then I realized it is missing two buttons. So I thought about it for a second and decided it's not worth trying anything with. So I'm gonna throw it back. I did find this vintage anthro piece. It's by a brand called Dill, D-I-L. I think this is really cute and could be modern. So I'm gonna pick this up. Then I found this piece that I swore was going to be Johnny Was, but it's by a brand called Paparazzi. They make very Johnny Was-like pieces, and I've sold one in the past for a lot. So I'm excited about this, and I'm going to pick it up. There's a few spots, but that's okay. This is a Torrid dress and it is a pride flag print dress. This is so freaking cute. I can't handle it. I'm really excited about it. It's a 2X and I can't wait to list this one. Then we found a Free People scarf. I probably will put this in the consignment too because of how it's just gray, but we'll see. Then I found these Eloquy pants that are really cute, almost Emilio Pucci-esque print. They're very abstract and pretty. I love the spring colors to them. I found this Anthro white lace floral dress. This would be so good for a bride's photo shoot or a bridal party of some kind. Really excited about this one too. There's a few spots, but that's okay. It is white, can't expect too much. Last, I found these American Eagle jeans. These are a size 18, so they're a great size, and they're the mom jean, which is a great style as well. 
well everyone i hope you enjoyed this thrift with me and family bins bash as per usual i had a blast both days i mean the second day not as much because i was sick and i'm sure you can tell by the voiceover that the allergies have not toned down in any way but that's okay we made it through i hope you guys liked it let me know below if you want to see more of these in the future of course and valentine's I am actually about to head out right after I post this video, well, upload it, to do a fun little adventure with you guys today, and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be quite different from the other videos that we've done for Valentine's before, and it's kind of like a top secret little, like, thing. So, so Valentine's, look forward to a video tomorrow that I'm really pumped about. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Thursday for either a haul of mine or a haul of Ryan's. We're not really sure yet. We got to see how much time he has. It's probably going to be a haul of me because he has to stay late at school both today, Tuesday, and tomorrow on Wednesday. So yeah, in other words, it's probably going to be me. So I will see you guys for a haul, a bins haul on Thursday. See you then, folks. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.